Hello everybody, today I'm going to be showing you a little program I wrote. Uh, as you can see it's called Sound Drawing and in it there is this string here. It's a simulated string and what you're seeing is its initial state. So if I draw this state right here then it would be as if I let go of the string in this position which as you could imagine um, would be how you'd pluck a string. You know, you'd pluck it from one spot everything else would go into like straight lines like that and when you let it go it would sound like like that and um, there's a couple things we can change about that sound for one obviously we can change the sound the shape to get a different sound so in this case it would be that sound that you heard is what a string would sound like if this was its initial state and so we can turn up the pitch by, as you can see in this left uh, window here, we have the note in hertz. So here, 110 hertz is standard A. And we can go like that for a smoother sound. Uh, yeah, as you can see, it sounds quite smooth. And uh, the other thing we can control is the gain. So if we turn up the gain, then something called clipping will happen, and we get this kind of overdrive effect. turn that way up it sounds like pretty sick <laughs> sounds like an electric so this should sound somewhat like a um, kind of like a guitar string anyway <clears throat> I mean there's no resonator with it so but that sounds pretty good and I'm going to press G now and as you can see it's using um, some of my processor there it's still able to interact with us um, because I used a, another thread. And now I have uh, a whole keyboard of sounds. So So that's another sound that we could use. Let's do like a really aggressive, you know. So as you can see when I draw it here, it looks like it's been made out of waves or something. So basically what happens, and I wrote it down here so I can say it a little bit more eloquently. After you release the mouse button, the shape is broken into a couple hundred frequencies. So um, if you look at uh, a sine wave, you know, you could have a sine wave this would just be half of the wave, and this would be two of the waves, and you could fit in an integer amount of waves into this space here. And so basically, if you try and find the correlation with this shape and all of those waves starting with the first harmonic and going up, let's say 200 harmonics, we can basically decompose this shape into many different frequencies and with those frequencies we use those to make the sound. Um, some things that we can change about the sound like I said are the um, the note and the gain but we can also change um, what is it we can change the decay so we can make right as you know this the sound eventually gets quieter so this is basically the rate at which it gets quieter so if we turn it up, um, let's say five times, I'm just going to recompile the program because I don't really have a control for that yet. <clears throat> let's check that out. And now it's a lot more muted and it gets quieted out faster, basically. So one of the qualities that makes this sound more natural and like a real string is that uh, the higher frequencies are attenuated faster, which is kind of realistic. As you know, if you listen to a sound, it tends to like 
sort of smooth out and mellow out as it as uh, time progresses and you're left with basically more of the low frequencies and so that's what happens in this case so yeah we get a pretty natural sounding sound so like if you wanted the most natural sounding square wave you could use this program wow that is so sick dude that is so cool wow that's a great sound <laughs> okay all right you know what i made <laughs> i got made a big mistake i gotta do this again what I gotta be able to change the keyboard sound here. How do I do that? Um, it's all the way down here in the generate keyboard function, standard A. Screw standard A. I'm gonna go with that. That is so cool. Look at that. And then uh, I'll generate a keyboard. So now we can generate a keyboard with lower sounds starting at 25 hertz. So this should sound pretty great. Uh, what the hell? It's not working? You piece of poo poo? So it's generating, 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 generating. Okay, this is sick. I'm gonna make like a, tra a trap ass beat. All right. too low anyway this program is pretty pretty great uh, thanks for watching guys and is there anything else I missed about this program uh, no it, it has like a pickup location of a quarter way down the string screen so when you first plug the string this is the pickup location and yeah anyway yeah like uh, like I said have a good one and thank you for watching